Reading one short story a day to get through all of my short story horror collections, episode 21. Today's story is Lantern Jack by Christopher Fowler. This story takes place in a pub. A pub that has known many names and has been around for a very long time. The narrator is sharing with us the, the many transitions that this pub has had and also the tragedies and the stories of the people who used to frequent it. It's told in a way that's sort of vaudevillian, a little bit theatrical. We have someone who's trying to entertain us and it's very cool. I really liked the setting of this. I thought it was fun. I was kind of imagining like one of those hobo clowns telling a story. Um, and all of these stories take place in Halloween, which is even cooler. So this was pretty fun and I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars out of five. Episode 22. Today's story is Drive Like Hell by Ken Proer. I think that's right. This story is about a couple who go on a day trip to spend some time with each other and get out of the city and just hang out in the country. On their way back though, they are chased down by a truck that's covered in chains and body parts. <laughs> this is a very, um, there are really some cool elements here, like just, you know, this real kind of like small town kind of creepiness going on. But when the ending rolled up, it was confusing. It didn't really make a lot of sense at all. Um, so I really wasn't sure what was going on with that, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to know a lot about, you know, this truck, especially. <laughs> so it was cool, but I feel like it was kind of all over the place in a lot of aspects. So I gave this two and a half out of five stars. Episode 22. Today's story is A Key for Any Lock by S.H. Cooper. This story is about a young woman who is pretty much liked by her community and respected, and she's a very smart girl, until she gets raped at a party. And then all of the burden of her own rape is placed upon her shoulders and is her own fault. This is a revenge story, and it's a very good one. It's very cathartic. Um, it's a story that's definitely gonna hit home for a lot of us. Um, this story is really the story of many, many women, which is you know, all so painful and so terrible, um, but it is cathartic because there, there is a, it's a revenge story, as I said, so um, it was good, but it's, it's good to highlight this. I think it's very important. Um, so I gave this five stars out of five. Today's story is Highway to Hell by Nicholas Gray. This story is about an older brother who just wants to do something really nice for his younger brother. He wants to take him on a trip to a small town called Hell um, because this was a trip that they had all made as a family when everything was really good and happy and the little brother has just really been pining to go there. So they go on a road trip and they do find a little bit more than they were asking for. This is a very cute, creepy, cozy story. Um, the relationship between the brothers are really, is really cute and kind of everything that happened. It has a little bit of a creep show vibe to it. It's pretty cool. I gave it three and a half stars out of five. Episode 25. Today's story is Rag and Bone by Paul Kane. This story is about a man who wakes up in a basement. He can't remember how he got there, but he is hanging by his hands and he is surrounded by mutilated bodies. Somebody comes from within the shadows and he recognizes exactly who it is. The story was okay. Um, I felt like it really focused in, on us not liking the main character, which we really didn't need to do a lot because as soon as he wakes up, he's already sexually objectifying the victims that he sees around him. So you don't really need to convince me that this guy sucks, you know? But we spent a lot of time with that and there is this concept of a rag and bone man, which would have been really cool to kind of get into a little bit deeper. Um, so yeah, so it was essentially a revenge story, but it was okay. I gave it three stars out of five. 